ladies and gentlemen, we are going to SneakerCon Dallas. It's been a while since we've gotten to SneakerCon. Yo, Max, how long has it been since you've been to a SneakerCon? Long time. No, actually, Vancouver. That was a year and three months ago. All right, it's my favorite part of this whole airport right here. Check this out. Ready? Up top, it's gonna change. Look, that's like us right now. A bacon, egg, and cheese. Okay. So I'm trying to think. It's been about two years since I've last been to Dallas. Thank you. Oh, my favorite. How did these make it all the way down here? I was about to say, how's Dallas look? Dallas is looking a little foggy today. So this is one of the first sneaker cons ever that I'm not having one of my traditional booths where I do the meet and greet setup. Instead, because it's just me, Max, and one of my friends, Justin, that's gonna roll through, we decided to just take the couple days, walk around, enjoy the vibe, and just get to see everybody again, buy stuff. I wanna interact with all the vendors, and just see a lot of faces that I haven't gotten to see in the last year, and uh, let's keep this traveling up, because I know it's been keeping me a little sane, actually, getting out of the house now as of recently. So I packed with me one pair of shoes that I want to go ahead and try and get rid of for this trip and that right there is going to be the 7-Eleven SB. Now the reason is they are very very cool, they're very special and it's definitely a once in a lifetime sneaker that you don't really pass up on if you have a good chance of getting. However, I personally don't resonate with 7-Eleven all that much to want to keep it in the rotation and wear it uh, and being that I only tried them on, I could probably get a really nice value for them. Maybe get a pair like my Solars or a pair that I've really been hunting for to add to the collection for a while. We're gonna be buying a lot this event because it has been a while since I've had a good opportunity to buy stuff at great prices, not only for my store, but for my personal collection. Super casual sneaker con today, literally going in the sweats, a tee, and we got the plats on. No mags. I know you guys are gonna keep saying blaze the mags, but I want to bust them out to a big event. Max, yeah, you are you excited? Them out in a while. Oh, of course, dude. It's sneaker con. con. <laughs> it's, like, it's sneaker con. Holy line! I haven't seen a line for a sneaker con in a very, very long time. These are really sick. Special box. I've never seen those before. Oh, this is the whole box for it? Yeah, so it, it came in... Uh... Oh, it came in like a whole... Yep. Wow. Black cats are going for 600 now. When did that happen? Everything's going great, man. Adult, How much adult. do these cost? Bro, it's like 26 right now. 26? Oh, yeah. Jeez. Can I see the eight and a half? Yeah, go ahead, bro. What are you asking? Uh, band on both, like each. Yo, right now we're at a custom brand booth. Velour? Where's the velour? Right here? Oh, damn. Yo, how to support the homie. Just cop some shorts. This is a first. Seeing cards at a sneaker con. <laughs> Dude, it's gonna happen a lot more. Yeah, I guarantee is. it. This is now what 2021 reselling looks like. It's it's so much more than just sneakers. I love it. Just gonna put the Pokemon cards. You like, there's gonna be even Pokemon cards at sneaker con. Need a pair, dude. They look a little uncomfortable. They do. Yeah, like, look at that. I just think it's interesting. I feel, do you feel like the Supreme market has kind of slowed down a little bit? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah every, like, Bogos especially, man. Like, yeah. it's dropping. Like, because right. of stuff like, I'd say it's stuff like this. That's why. Yeah. It I saturates it. More like the Split Bogo. Like, they got all those crappy ones coming yeah. out. The good ones at the Milan that just came out. That's yeah. why. I, yeah. I don't buy box logos like that anymore. They're no, fine. I don't either. What the f*** is this, bro? <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, we just ran into everybody. Kais is here. Yeezy Busta. All the homies have pulled up. And, guys, it's just great to be here at Seeker Con. I love the vibes. I love the energy. I miss the shows. Yo, we're here with Charlotte's favorite. Mr. JP. Yo, first off, man, it has been a minute. I, I love connecting with people at Sneaker Con. Like, it's like you feel like you haven't seen them in like forever. Oh, yeah. It's like been a year. It's like the first day of school. Again. I know. It's like the first day of school. It's exactly right. I gave you a keychain in like eighth grade, bro. SOE vlog number two. SOE vlog number two. This is a table full of heat right here. I was about to say, I was like, yo, wait, these aren't the 7-Eleven. That's an ID. Wow, so this is a this is a Nike ID. What are you charging for this? $250. 250 or something? Wow. Galaxies. <laughs> I'm Kyle, what's good, baby? How's everything, kid? You alright? Guys, so right here, first off, it's been such a minute, bro. It has been it has been over a year. I know. But we're, we're back, we're back, right? <laughs> nothing happened, like nothing, nothing happened. Nothing, no, nothing. But 
All right, guys. So, uh, you got how many pairs from the Fat Joe collection? So it was a total of 1,500 pairs. Um, I ended up with 317, and they all needed some sort of restoration. They were either crumbling or it was one number. Okay. And there was no nicking and picking. It was a, a, a take all deal. Okay. And was it worth it? A thousand percent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I still haven't seen my initial investment. Okay. But it's there. Pairs like this. That's why it's there. This is a woman of weight. Twelve and a half, which is Billy's actual pairs. That stock, brand new. Oh my god. You know why? It's one of those things which I don't have a price on them because I I can't even find them anywhere too. To the compare, price yeah. I can't even compare. You them could to say anything. five grand and that'd be low. Yeah, I I, I already got offered two thousand on these and fifteen on these. Nah, I can't do it. Do both for five. So that's where I'm at. SPO four season is that two thousand four? So there you go, two thousand four. You're wearing some heat right now. Tell them what you're wearing right now. The Habibi Dunks. I got them for my birthday before anybody had them. There you go, yo. Those things are fresh, man. I know you're back to the and a mix. Whoa. This is gonna go right in the case when I get home, bro. Mr. YB, you wanna tell him what you're wearing today? What do you what, what do you got on? We got some uh, what the Pauls or what the P rods, whatever you wanna call it. Yeah. I love these, man. I, I know you're a big dunk guy. Yeah. You're a huge dunk guy. Yeah, man. Absolutely huge. And dude, you got the sweats on too. It's a sweats kind of day. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. Popping me, right. and then look, everybody's popping me now to the U. This dude copyrighted the mask wave. Dude, I should have done that, man. Imagine. Imagine. Mr. P Town Kick. Oh, what's going on? What is going on? Guys, I'm telling you, this is this is not normal. This is not how sneaker con used to look. I love it though. I absolutely love it. Bro, nobody would have this stuff on their exactly, table. Exactly, bro. Well, and why do they have it on their table now? Why? I, I don't know. Because it's going for money? Yeah, show them what's up. Cactus flea market. Oh we yeah. Gotta, we there gotta, you go. We got a friends and family. Okay. Okay. Should have figured you had the seven. Actually, a little easy than our size. Which one? You got the solar? Which size? Ten and a half, ten and a half. You got it. Oh, I needed a ten, dude. Oh, that's not. Oh my gosh. Let's talk about these real quick. These are pre-owned. What yeah. size are they? Ten, right? Yeah, that's it. Oh, whoa. You wanna sell? How much? I can let it go like two thousand. Wow. So guys, we just talked about these in literally two videos ago. The samples. These are what the eights were modeled off of. That's why he wear them. He heard That's them. why you wear them? Yeah, but 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 they didn't uh, release any hardwood plastic or sevens. Yeah. They only released the uh, eight. Yeah. Yeah. So if they're gonna release the seven though, what happens to these? Price would plummet, sadly. It's a gamble. It's Sample a gamble. samples are a gamble. Yeah. <laughs> Nike's just dropping whatever they want. Yeah. They have, they have like special aglets on them, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but 7-Eleven detail. I really like them, but I would have to be firm in a thousand. Do we wear it? I'll wear them, dude. I'm not gonna sell them. Take it. Take it? Yeah. Where is it? Take it. Think so? First deal of the day. Might have been the most solid deal of the weekend. The hardwood classic LeBron yeah, sample. Join the sample gang, guys. We just got a grail right here. I think it's just crazy how recently we talked about them, and now they're just here. The hardwood classic. LeBron 7 sample. And this is my first time I'm even getting to see these in person. I never had an opportunity to buy them at a sneaker show. And most of these samples, if you guys didn't know, they're around in a nine or 10. And so being a size 10, it's gonna fit me perfectly as Nike basketball runs a little bit smaller. That was, it was a good deal. Incredible deal. My boys over at Trade Block. Absolutely, guys. Has to happen. I'm serious, you guys have got to jump on Trade Block. Trade Block is the first app that allows you guys to trade sneakers with other sneaker heads. Yo, Mr. Wynn. Remember when those were like 10 years ago? Bro, it, it was a different time back then. We're just dropping off the sevens. We're gonna grab some refreshers and head right back to the event. Also, my man, Justin. Yo, Justin. What up? Made it finally. Good to see you. It's been a great day at SneakerCon. Getting to see everybody has been so nice. It's like the first day of school. Somebody said it earlier. It's like the first day back. Everybody's here. Ferris, you need some help? <laughs> Holy crap, dude. It's really like I'm radioactive right now. All right, listen. I can't help myself. This table, you got all the heat, man. I don't know what to tell you. It's debating this Ramoa. Trade me for the, trade me for the 7 Eleven. So I'll add some cash. You want to get up zero and you want to start the negative bank balance. Let's go. Dude, I feel it. I'm trying to spend a rack right now. If you can find the right vendor, you're golden. You guys can make 100 deals. The trading pit is right back there. Damn, if only they were my size, bro. I would have got them off. Oh, no. Yo, 
My dude right here is an OG. You've been watching since how long? Uh, since like you had the white BMW, like 2016, 2017. Shit. No way, bro. I love you, man. Love you too, Thank brother. You. Thank you so much. Bro, I met you at SneakerCon Dallas years ago, like the first time you came. I watched this since like point K. Bro. No joke. Dude, we're running into all the Charlotte people. Look at this, man. This is like Car crazy. Carolina D, bro. Okay, so I'm 15. I started reselling like five or six months ago. And right as I started reselling, you popped up on my YouTube recommended. So I've just been watching you, just trying to trying to be like you every day. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Bro, thank you so much, man. Yeah. know me I love I love me some golf and I uh, I've been looking for some golf cleats all right that are that are actually something I'd want to wear all right guys so we had to cop the Jordan golf cleat the personal pickup I love the pattern just got the Jordan 5 golf cleats I figured might as well up the golf game uh, because I want to hit the course a little more so I got the wings colorway and then my favorite colorway for an Air Jordan, we had to go with the black grape. I didn't even know they made a black grape cleat, and I'm just very happy to have gotten them. Oh, wow. What's the prices on a baseball nowadays? Um, I got two on this one, 260 on the one in the wrapper. <laughs> Yo, she Yo, we got a special shout out. So oh, guys, I just I found these strawberry calls. Like Do you have the red laces? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's in there, right? Very cool. It's, it's like in there. So guys, we found another pair of strawberry cough. One of my favorite SBs of all time. Size eight, not my size. I like investments, y'all know the deal. I think these potentially, uh, these could be something. Are these, these are DS? Yeah, yeah. All right, well I think we're gonna go get them legit checked because I might want to make a move here today. You been trying to move these? Yo, I've been trying to get another pair. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. you, yeah, no thank problem. you guys. All right, yo, we just got another pair of unreleased samples. What? <laughs> You know why? He was like, dude, I, I just want to move them. He took 970. Wow. I'm going to put these on my website or just hold on to them. Yo, Mr. Cam Kick in What's the building. On, guys? Yo, how many how many pairs did you buy today? 185 pairs. Yeah. And, and how much cash was that around? $60,000. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Dang, hi. So guys, the time of the show right now is about 6.50. We have 10 minutes left. And as you guys can see, it is way more open than it has been all day. Today was a super successful day. We were able to grab another pair of the strawberry coughs. And y'all already know we got the unreleased right here, the 7-Elevens. We got the unreleased LeBron. This whole video is about unreleased shoes. Like, how could y'all not love this? I could not recognize Sorry, wait. So you you had no idea you sold me these shoes until like when? Until, like he's like, yo, yeah. you know those blazing? I was like, yeah. I, was like no, I didn't know at all. <laughs> I was like, yo, yo like, no yeah. It's because of the mask. Yeah. Oh, wow. I can tell, bro. <laughs> wow. And uh, we got a whole new day tomorrow. I'm going to try and sell tomorrow these and the 7-Elevens. Didn't make anything happen today with those. So we'll try again tomorrow.